Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your appearance in Fallout 4. I turned the volume off so there won't be like an in-game audio because everybody in the Diamond City Marketplace is talking, so you lit I recorded this once and you literally just, it's just like an annoying voice in the background, pretty much. Um, but this is in Diamond City uh, Marketplace, and the two places are right here, the Super Salon, uh, with those two people and then if you haven't done the quest yet there will be a guy here normally uh, Sun uh, and he is the doctor uh, once you complete this quest though where is it there we go uh, the disappearing act it's about the surgery center and um, uh, facial reconstruction which fits into changing your appearance um, he will move from here into the actual surgery center. So if you're looking for him, this also applies, I guess, if you wanted to know where he was, uh, he will show up in uh, down there, which I'll go to in just a second. Uh, but first, let's come over here and go over the haircut. So you have John and Kathy. You want to, I think you can, I think Kathy won't, yeah, John, you want to talk to John. Um, it's 15 caps, change your haircut, which is, which is not bad. Uh, it's actually a pretty good price. Uh, and then you just go ahead and sit down in the barber chair here. The one issue I have with this, I don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody, um, but if you look at this, when you're trying to ro go through the hair colors, you got to sit here and you can see the little loading thing to the left of my screen. You literally got to sit here and let it load each color. Um, it's not as fluid and it's not nearly as smooth as when you first created your character and the one thing you can get caught up on is if you land on like golden blonde here but you have auburn selected if you back out it will sometimes mess up and give you golden blonde so always make sure it didn't do it that time but always make sure to go back to the color that you want um i want my hair to i want her hair to be auburn so just make sure you go back to that whatever you select if you're looking through because i had it jack up once and it's just annoying um, and then with the style, it can do the same thing. But, you know, you can see all the different styles here um, that were available at the beginning of the game. So you can change your hair here. Now, if you're trying to figure out, it may take you a while, um, but it is an effective way to change your hair. I found out pretty much that there's only like four, maybe four hairstyles that look good if you're if you're trying to make a normal looking girl um, that really work out well for you. But for 15 caps to change your hair, uh, in my opinion, that is not bad. Now, if you want to come over here to the Mega Surgery Center, this is where you can really change the look of your character, um, actually having essentially plastic surgery done. Uh, come down here. Sun will be waiting um, down here. Go ahead and talk to him. And for 100 caps, you can change your appearance. So just tell him, you know, you need a new face. And then go ahead and sit down in the surgery chair um, through... I don't know, I'm through like 13 hours, or like, I'm probably through like 11 or 12 hours of actually playing the game, um, because some of it's been spent messing around, um, like building the settlement and, ja and jacking around with stuff like that. Um, but with this, you can do all the things you did at the starting, um, cre character creation, except change gender. Um, I'm not sure if there's anywhere to change gender in the game. Um, I will let you guys know if I do find that through my through playing, um, but you can see here, you can do the sculpting of the different parts of your body. Uh, you can change the colors, uh, you can change the type of different stuff, and um, it's essentially like it was before. Uh, you know, obviously you can't do anything with the hair here because there is the hairstyle place. There is the salon just outside, so can't do anything with the hair in here. So you will have to pay the extra 15 caps. Not that that really matters. 15 caps, not a big deal. Um, I have, like, um, something like 6,500 caps through 12 hours of gameplay, and I bought a bunch of stuff I didn't need to. Uh, so you could probably easily have 10K or more caps at this point. So 100 caps if you have a problem with the way your character looks, uh, because I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of YouTubers do, and I do. Um, you know, you'll create a character, and you're like, all right, they look pretty decent. Uh, I'm happy with the character, and you'll get five minutes in the game and then you'll see the face and you're like oh what the hell did I do what the hell is that and you just you just find all sorts of problems with your character and the way they look I actually think my character in Fallout 4 looks fine 
uh, I can point out stuff. Like, I don't like her cheeks, really. And her neck is... No, nah, her neck is fine, but the this hair right here makes her neck look weird. Um, and also, she's a little thin. Uh, but I don't want to make her fat, so I'm just leaving her at that thin. Um, it looks kind of awkward when she's standing, but, you know, you can find little issues with everything. But she's good enough for this playthrough. Like, she looks fine enough for me to play. Um... But you are, like, I am stuck with this character for, like, 70 hours, probably, or more, because I'm doing everything. So, you know, you can find, you can fine-tune different stuff throughout your playthrough. If you get sick of the way you look, you can change it and whatnot, which is very nice. And on the display screen, compared to what she looks like on my TV, she looks, she doesn't look good on the preview screen I have. Um... So, if you think she's looking, like, weird, she does look really weird on the on the preview screen compared to my actual TV. I don't know why. Um, I think there's some darkening that my, my, um, that my recording software does, uh, and it's making some parts of her neck and, and her face look a little weird, but, you know, it just lets you, <laughs> back to the topic, uh, but it lets you go ahead and do all of this different stuff. Um, maybe you, um, maybe you wanted to give your, uh, give your character different blemishes. Why did it say I have forehead blemish one on, but there's nothing like, huh, that's really weird. That is really weird. I don't know why the forehead blemishes are selected because nothing is showing up. Um, but that's just how you change your character in Fallout 4. Um, change their appearance, both facial and you know, all that different stuff, and as well as their hair, uh, but I thought I'd show you guys this, uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll let you know if I find anything that lets you change gender, um, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.